hello in this video i want to show you how to protect your ad account from being disabled or restricted if you are selling something either online or offline and you are looking for new customers or clients you want more sales then this video is for you i'm going to create a table of content and add it to the description of this video so that you will be able to navigate to the part of the video that you really want to watch make sure you watch it to the end because you are going to get a lot of value from this video at one point or the other you will need to run ad on facebook and to be paying someone else to be running ad for you might not be very convenient so you will need to run ad by yourself and in running ad you need a facebook account or a facebook profile a facebook profile is your name on facebook that is your very account so the first thing you will need to do is you need to verify that account you need to verify your identity because of recent facebook started disabling accounts on the ground that your identity was not verified so to be to forestall that to prevent that from happening i will advise you that before you start creating your business manager account the first thing you have to do is to verify your identity first that is going to go a long way in helping you secure your account and if you want to verify your identity so that your identity is not going to fail you are going to log into your facebook account like i am logging now and preferably i want you to use a computer and if you are logging you are going to see this uh, drop down here you click on it then you will see settings and privacy click on it then you will see setting here click on it one more important thing is that before you proceed to verify your identity make sure you have changed your name to the exact name that is on your id card and if you want to change your name you click on this icon then you go to privacy and setting go to setting then this is where you are going to change your name change this name to be exactly don't make mistake in the spelling let the spelling be exactly as it is on your id card then this name you are changing make sure you you are not changing it frequently if you change it a, a day it will take you up to two months before you can change it so it's not something that will be changing every time if you are changing it too frequently it will compromise the integrity of your account so make sure it's not every time you are changing it general account setting here there are so many things you can do here now if you look you see identity confirmation confirm your identity to do things like run ads about social issues elections or politics here you are going to see a edit here it's because i've done something here before that is why you are seeing view now otherwise you would have seen edit so you are going to click on that edit and if you click you will see some things here the one you are going to click is confirm your identity then you click get started then you will see this running ads about social issues choose reason you will select run ad about social issues elections or politics that is the one you are going to select 
then it will ask you to confirm your identity you are going to select your country for instance i'm in nigeria so i will select nigeria let me look for nigeria this is nigeria i'll select nigeria then click get started and you have a question here are you sure you want to confirm your identity click yes continue and sometime it may ask you to enter your password to confirm make sure you remember your password before you start this process and sometimes it also asks you to use two-factor authentication and what this two-factor authentication does is that whenever you are logging in to your facebook account either on a new browser or a new device it's going to send a message to your phone it's going to send a code to your phone that you are going to use in logging in so that is why what, what this two-factor authentication does sometimes it will ask you of this two-factor authentication and as a matter of fact this two factor authentication is very necessary to secure your account from hackers if you don't want your facebook account to be hacked then i recommend that you use this two factor authentication and even in running ad when you want to run ad on facebook if you activate this two factor authentication is going to help your account because Facebook will now see you as the rightful owner of that account. But if you don't use this two-factor authentication, they don't see you as, as a legitimate account owner. They don't see you as being legitimate. So you need to, you need to activate this two-factor authentication. And once that is done, then the next thing is personal ID card. So you are going to upload your personal ID. And if you click, you will see choose how to confirm your identity. You may want to confirm by uploading your ID card. And that is the one I will be talking about here. There is another one here. Get a form notarized get a form notarized this is another one i've never used this form before this is the one i've ever used and this is the one i'll be talking about so if you want to upload your id card you click on this upload your id card and click next then you are going to yeah if you are using an app you can snap it but i've never used this one before this is the one i've used i browse on my computer to select my id card so you are going to select this and you are going to click next and there are so many form of identity that you can choose here you have passport driver license national id card marriage certificate official name change paperwork green card resident permits or immigration papers tribal identification or status card voters id family certificate visa national age card immigration registration card tax identification card there are so many of them here so you are going to choose the one you have and before you choose the one you have make sure you have snapped that passport or identity card and there are requirements for the identity card to be accepted uh, let me show you some of the requirements okay so you can see these are some of the requirements the 
identity card must be snap very clear use a sharp camera to snap it and the image and the text on the id card should appear very clear then you are to show all the four corners don't cut any part of the id card let all the four corners show then you are to keep the id card flat don't bend it another one is use a clear and focused image make sure the fo the photo is is not blur and avoid glare or shadows the text and the image on the photo must be clear and be visible because it is a human being that is going to review the the picture so make sure the image is very clear and the background should be a dark background you can use something like cloth your bed sheet your car seat whatever and the background has to be dark don't use white background and don't use light background let the background be dark so that they can see that is a solid id card they can even see the background they know what is the background then show all info on your id card let all the information be shown on the id card then the size of the id card has to be at least 1000 pixel by 1500 pixel let me show you how you can do that i will show you how to edit your the photo of your id card so that it will be at least 1000 500 by 1000 pixel okay if for instance this is the id card i want to verify you can see the background the background is is clear and is dark then the the text on the image should be very clear and the picture should be very clear and once that is set is settled the next thing you have to do is to resize the picture in resizing the picture you right click on the picture and you will see open width then follow it and take it to paint if you are using a computer you see this so you open it with paint and if you open it with paint you are going to see resize here so you click on resize and you will see this dialog box click on pixel then the size you are going to use should be the horizontal should be at least 1500 pixel so you simply type 1500 pixel here and when you type 1500 pixel here this the vertical size will be automatically be updated if the vertical size is not up to 1000 pixel then you will rather edit the vertical to be 1000 now if i take the vertical to 1000 you will see that the horizontal is no longer up to 1500 so i will rather make this one to be 1500 even this one is even if this one is more it doesn't matter it is better for it to be more than 1000 pixel than for it not to reach so you make sure at least the horizontal length should be 1500 or more you, you should also, also make sure that the vertical size should be at least 1000 mega 1000 pixel or more so once this is is, is setting you are now going to click ok and if you click ok the image size is now resized you will now save it so once you save it it is now ready to be uploaded 
so you are going to go to you will go to your to your facebook and maybe the one you are using is national is a voter's card let's say i want to use a voter's card i'm going to select this box and i'm going to click next i'm going to click next then it will ask me to upload it i will click on this button i will select the folder i want to use let's say let me go to the folder i want to use okay so this is the folder i saved that that passport in i'm going to click it and click open and once you do that you will now wait for them for about two to three days sometimes it can take a week and you are going to see whether it is accepted or not if it is accepted you are going to see a green notification that your identity has been confirmed and if it is not accepted you will see that they will they will tell you that they need more information that your identity was not verified they need more information it is after that when you have confirmed that that you cannot go ahead and start working on your ad otherwise if you do not verify your account and you start running ad your account may be restricted and sometimes it will be a permanent restriction and once that is done you have lost that facebook account from running ad though you can be posting some things but you cannot use it to run ad anymore and i hope this information is going to help somebody and if it helps you i have prepared a step-by-step -step training on how you can monetize your knowledge on how you can package your knowledge skill and experience and start selling it online in form of ebook form of video tutorial there are so many ways you can package your knowledge skill and experience and sell it online if you want to undergo this training there is a link in the description of this video just click on it and i will take you step by step i'll be showing you how to create your facebook page and make it ad policy compliant when you are talking of running ad your first step is to create your facebook page your facebook page and your instagram page is very very important because it represents your office or your shop as far as facebook and instagram is concerned so in order for you to start running ad you must create your facebook page first and in creating your facebook page you log into your facebook account and you are going to click on this plus icon and you go down and hit page then this is where you are going to give the name of your page and the name of your page can be your own name take for instance i am timothy omar tule this is my name or i use the name of my company if you have a company that is registered whether it is registered or not you can use your company name here let's say i use acting consult or i use acting project limited okay so take for instance this is the name of my business and the category 
I will type construction construction um, company then real estate I'll add real estate if you are into e-commerce you you type e-commerce and so on and so forth then you are going to describe it here building construction and real estate management all right so here it is here and you hit create page and once you hit create page the page will be created and you can see acting project limited was created now you can add images to your page to add more details all right to see the new page you have just created now you are going to go to your your home page you click on home when you are logging then you look towards the left you see pages then you click on the drop down see this is the one i've just created and here it is so you are going to add your cover photo you click on edit and add your cover photo make sure you don't leave, don't leave it empty so that facebook will look at you as a serious business because if you leave it empty that is one of the things that can lead to your ad account ban so you have to make sure you upload your cover page and here you are going to upload your your logo i whether you have logo or you upload your image at least upload something here don't leave it empty then you are going to invite your friends to like the page and you are going to go down to the setting let's say edit page info this edit page info okay so you are going to add your phone number here make sure don't leave it empty because if, it, if you leave it empty it can lead to your other account ban then enter your email here enter your website let's say acting www dot acting project dot com okay maybe this is your website and your address everything fill everything here and once you are done you hit save if you are done you hit save make sure you fill everything so that because when you are running ad facebook staffs will visit your page and when they see that there is no serious thing going on in the page the page does not look like a serious business they will disable that account so in order to avoid your page being disabled make sure you add all these necessary details i hope you understand everything thank you for watching this video and see you in the next video bye